uh, thanks for joining us on Wisdom Wednesdays, I think is what my sign says. So super exciting. We have a lot of fun things to cover today, so let's go ahead and get started. Are we started? Essential oils definitely can help. We like giveaways. We do like giveaways. Forget about the dishes, forget about the laundry, forget about all of that for a minute. That's the same with essential oils, you guys. You have to figure out what works for you. You're gonna see a huge difference, a huge difference. I always love that intro, it's so cute. Um, hi everyone, my name is Emily, if we haven't met before, and I'm one of Plant Therapy Certified Aromatherapists. I'm here covering for Aretha today as she is um, up at our Meridian Retail Store. So we've got a lot of fun things to cover today, but first let's go ahead and see who's tuning in. So it looks like Kate is here from rainy Southeast Texas. Oh, I am like so happy that the weather is finally changing. It's so much nicer and cooler and I'm ready for leggings and sweater weather. I'm excited, so. <laughs> I feel like I say that like every season though. Um, we have Barb from La Crete, Canada, I believe. Woot woot. Um, Rosalie says, hi, Emily from North Carolina. Uh, Jean says, hi, Emily. Hi, everyone. Super excited to be here. Katrina, who is tuning in from Instagram? We have Rosie78 says, hi, from New Zealand. Ooh. Moon Lily 1013 says, hello, from Vermont. Fabric Collector 02 says, hi, from Saskatchewan. And Earthling Nat says, hi, from Sydney, Australia. Oh. Essential Oil Mom 1998 says, hi, from Indiana. And let me scroll down here and see if I can find one more. Stardust Craftwork says, hi, oh from Michigan. Gosh. Hi, everyone. I really need to work on my Instagram Han <laughs> handle. Is that what they're called? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's pretty boring. So no what fun. What is your though. Instagram handle? I'm not telling. <laughs> Jeez, Danny. I don't even think I know it. I, I changed it recently. But but um, let's see, just a few more questions. Kate says, I need to see the crystal diffuser. Please say it's in the studio. And oh it my is. gosh, I'm throwing stuff, you guys, I'm sorry. Um, it is here today and that is something that we are going to be talking about. So really excited to talk about our Crystal Car Fresh diffuser. So let's go ahead and get that pulled up. Let me, okay. Sorry, switching screens, guys. So this is our Crystal Car Fresh diffuser, diffuser, and it is so cute. I love it so much. So I'll go ahead and pull it out so you guys can see it. And I can't believe Maybe. how high quality it is. It's so nice. Like, I am so impressed by this product. It's so beautiful, too, so. Yes, yes, very, very high end. So this is the, the Crystal Carfresh diffuser. Um, we really love it. We wanted another alternative for our amazing customers to use essential oils while they're traveling in their car. Um, so if you're wondering how to use it, it's very, very simple. So there's a little cover piece here, this crystal piece that just comes right off. Just a second, there we go. Um, and inside here, you'll see this little essential oil wick, um, and you would place your essential oils just right on this wick. And this technology is super awesome. It absorbs essential oils so nicely, um, better than anything I've seen before. So really, really exciting stuff. Um, and then once you've added the essential oils, you just put your little crystal right back on the front and it's all magnetic, so really easy to use. You just have to pop it up with your finger. Um, and then this clip just slides right into your vent. So super handy, super pretty, really easy to use. Um, and you can use a, a wide variety of essential oils with this. And really we just recommend um, using however many drops works best for you. So um, if you're noticing that the scent isn't strong enough, you can add a few more drops of essential oil. If it's too strong, then you know next time um, to pull it back a little bit. And then we just recommend uh, refreshing as the scent fades. So really, really pretty diffuser. I am definitely going to be buying one. Um, and then we have two additional uh, little wicks here that come with it. But we do sell the refill wick separately too. So if you run out, um, oh look, Jerry's awesome. She brought them up here so you guys can see. Let me get it. So these are the little refill wicks and they come with eight. So if you, if you run out or um, you're noticing that it's not holding the essential oils as well, that means that it's time to switch to something new. Um, and we have this awesome refill pack to utilize for that. So really exciting. Love this. Um, can't wait to get my own. 
we've had so many fun things launch lately. It's so exciting. Yeah, I, the, the thing I love about these diffusers mm -hmm. is the back is just a really high quality. I don't know if it's aluminum, yes. or, but it's like one solid piece and it's been milled from one solid piece. Mm -hmm. And then you've got that clip that's a nice metal clip it's really it's toddler fancy. friendly like i feel like my toddler cannot break it which is a big deal he <laughs> recently <laughs> broke his piggy bank and i was so sad because he got it for his first first birthday and he dropped it on the floor and <laughs> broke it and then he was like rolling around in his quarters it was really weird <laughs> i love that kid though <laughs> okay lisa had a good question oh, she good. said what if you want to change the scent so if you want to change the scent, I would just wait until the, the scent on your wick has faded and then you can use something else. Um, and then if you, if you use a few uh, scents time and time again in your car, maybe you use energy for in the morning when you're traveling to work and then maybe relax for uh, rush hour traffic, um, then you could maybe have two dedicated wicks to switch out. But really, just once it starts to fade, you can put a different essential oil onto it and you won't have any problem. Um, are we seeing any other questions? Uh, Mama Bear asks if she can have the one you opened. Oh, we <laughs> That's might. That's a good be... question, but no. Oh, Danny <laughs> ruined it. I'm sorry, Mama Bear. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't want, you don't want a used one. You want a brand new one. <laughs> you want a fresh one, right? <laughs> oh, but we're really excited about it. And this is just a really easy, safe way to use essential oils. I love it for pup and pony, right? Because it's an easy way to use essential oils with your animals, with your dog when you're traveling, especially if your dog gets a little bit of travel anxiety or even a little nauseous, which I think I told you guys last time that I found out the hard way that my puppy does get nauseous in the car. So I <laughs> I'm excited to have this option for him or even for your kids as well. Just a really nice, gentle way to use essential oils in your car. So super fun. Anything? Essential Oil Mom 1998 is asking how long will the oils last on the wick? It really depends on the oil. So if you're using citruses that are more volatile, you'll have to refresh it more often. If you're using more base notes, then it, it tends to linger a little bit longer. So it really just depends on, on the products that you're using um, as far as refreshing. And really, we've noticed that just depending on the oil, one to two drops is good for some oil. So you're not having to use a lot. Again, it just depends on the oil and what you're using. So. Really fun. Um, uh, there was a really good question by, let me see here. Um, it was by Mrs. Burke. Oh. Uh, no, it, Bert, Bartuska, Ellen. She just said, um, can you clean the old wicks with hot water and soap? Um, I don't know that off of the top of my head, um, but I'm sure that we have that information. We actually, if you go to our website and um, pull up the product page, let's see if I can get there. Can they see my screen, Danny? They can. Yay! So if you um, go to the website and go to the Shop Now button here on the, our landing page, it will take you um, to all the information you need to know about this product. And what I found that is really cool close to the bottom is we have some really handy PDFs. So we've got a how to use your Crystal Car Fresh Diffuser and then some, um, a link to a blog on it as well. So I'm sure that we can find the information there for you and if not then our customer service team would be happy to help with that yeah I mean and if you guys get these and test them out and find that you can do some stuff share it with the community yeah. and let us know yep definitely let us know we want to make sure that um, you're able to reuse them of uh, most of our products you know as much as possible we're all about sustainability so that's great the uh, the thing that you need to know about these um, diffuser inserts is they are a different material than anything we've had before yes. so they are really they seem a little bit more robust than yeah they're really the neat i'm excited for our customers to get uh their hands on them because this this um, technology is so awesome it absorbs really nicely it's a different material um, we're really excited about it our beautiful mess is asking what oils do you use for car sick pups oh that's a great question so we actually let's see if we can get pup and pony pulled up so that we i can show you let's see uh just so you know emily 
created and designed Pup and Pony dun, dun, dun. stuff, so <laughs> she's a little biased when it comes to I am. I, I love she Pup really and Pony questions. Stuff. So um, we created Happy Trails to help with um, any kind of travel woes for dogs and for horses too. If you have any horses that um, in their in the trailer when they're traveling have any um, travel issues, this is a great blend. It helps with upset upset stomach, um, but also helps with calming as well. So you've got a double whammy there. This is a great product for that. But again, I am a little biased. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do we have any other questions? Uh, falling feet first is oh asking, gosh, so is cute. it a real crystal? Oh, I don't know what the material is made out of. That's a great question. But Danny, can we can we zoom in or can I come up there yeah, and show them a, a close-up? A close-up. But don't judge my nails, you guys. I was telling Katrina beforehand, I they're, they just need some help, so. <laughs> It's not cute, but. So you can put it down there on your lap. Oh, and okay. And that will make it so you don't have to. Like right here? Is that I good? Think so. mm -hmm. Can yeah, you guys see? Pretty good, mm -hmm. just a second. It's trying. So I can tell you it feels like a really high quality either plastic or glass. Yeah, and I'm, I'm sure we have that information. I just don't know off the top of my head what it's made out of, but it's really, really pretty but and looks so dark. It's very sleek. I feel like it looks very sleek. Can you hold it up against that white background behind you? This white background? Yeah, here we go. I'm gonna zoom into that. And there's a light behind the diffuser if she wants to take Would the that be? crystal off and put it behind it. Yeah, and it's really just, like, yeah, it's like a really high quality plastic kind of? or glass. Yeah, it's, it's, it's I don't really think it's pretty glass. though. I think it's more robust than glass. Yeah. Anyways, definitely, I'm sure we have that information and our customer service team, if they aren't already answering your question because they're awesome like that, um, they'll be able to get you that information. Yeah. Good questions, guys. Yes, all great questions. Okay, well, if there is nothing else about the Crystal Carfresh Diffuser, we can talk about the oil of the week. Oh, let's do it. Let's I've even got it. an intro. Oh, yay. Love it. La, 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 oil of the week. That's Ooh, awesome. what is the oil of the week? So Emily? the oil of the week this week is camphor, and we have a really awesome blog post on it that I'm going to find for you guys. Just bear with me. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Oh, oh. look, I was right. So you, you I love it. it. I love it when I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, but I went to the wrong place. Let's see. <laughs> There's got to be a blog post around here somewhere, guys. Okay. Well, Did we'll just go to the blog. Yeah, go to learn and then the blog. blog. Ooh, I clearly need to spend a little more time on our website, <laughs> you guys. Okay, so Camper Spotlight Oil of the Week. We have a really awesome blog post on this product and I would say this is an oil that I haven't been the most familiar with but was really excited to dive into it a little bit more and learn a lot more about it. Um, so it does have a high content of 1,8-cineol um, which means that it's really good for any kind of respiratory concerns. Um, so great choice especially moving into cold and flu season to have on hand just to help support clear breathing. Um, it also helps boost circulation, it eases earaches and pains due to regular Oh, not earaches. Eases aches and pains due to regular wear and tear. I was like, that does not sound right. That's a weird thing to say. Um, and then it helps relieve sore and aching muscles. So really great choice there, um, especially if you're looking for an alternative to something like eucalyptus. That's something that we use a lot during the winter. This is also a good alternative to switch things up a little bit. Um, and don't forget, it's 15% off uh, because it is the oil of the week. If you have any questions, feel free to check out this really awesome blog posts that we put together on the product. Um, it's got a lot of really fun and helpful information on this one. Woohoo! Yay! Have you guys used camphor, Katrina, Danny? Um, I have not used it personally. Have I you used it, Danny? have smelled it. Well, that counts. Like recently. Um, but I have not, I have not used it. No. Vicky Forrest is asking um, if you know any other oils it blends well with. Camphor? Mm -hmm. um, definitely, I would go with any of your 1-8-Cineol pr 
or products with one eight sun yellow. So rosemary, um, you could do eucalyptus, um, as well as peppermint would be a good choice. I like to to blend with um, like citruses as well to give it a nice sweet note. Um, those oils with one eight sun yellow tend to be a little bit harsh. So if you blend it with something a little softer, a little sweeter, it really helps to just bring it together really nicely. So great question. And Mama Raising Boys is asking, is it safe for kids, especially young toddlers? That's a great question, and this one is not kid safe. So definitely a better choice for adults in your life. Yep, it's that one eight cineal. That dang one eight cineal will get you every time. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a constituent that we don't recommend using in high amounts with kids because it can cause breathing concerns. So better to just err on the side of caution and, and use some gentler options. I really like eucalyptus dives um, as a kid safe option there for some respiratory support. So is that a real camphor bottle or a fake camphor bottle? Uh, one of our we use like could you open it and smell it? Uh, mm -hmm. Over here? No. Is it by oh, me? Yeah. Oh, right here. Oh, yeah, here. there's a camper bottle over there. Is that I, what you're talking about? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mom, mom said it's not a real camper. That smells so camperous. <laughs> no, Is that it's, a real camper? It's empty. <laughs> yeah, that's one of sad. our, yeah, it's sad. our use uh, for photography bottles that mom would not even This is a real one. Oh, Ooh. perfect. Let's see if I can catch it. Yes. I need a gold star. Yeah, tell us what that smells like. I actually really like it. It's um, not quite as harsh as eucalyptus, in my opinion. It's just really, it's really pretty, really fresh, clean, opens up the airways, very strong smelling. Um, so I would say a little bit of this goes a long way. Um, but definitely a good choice, especially where I see camphor used a lot is respiratory support and then those muscle aches and pains, like post-workout uh, pain. Great, great choice for just soothing and giving you a little bit of circulation. Really good choice there. Do you know if it's pup and pony safe? It is not pup and pony safe, at least off the top of my head. But you can double check our pup and pony approved list. So mm, see that five times real fast. Pup and pony approved list. I like Stella says you guys gave me a heart a heart attack throwing that bottle. I know, me too, a little bit. I I freaked out a little bit. It's fine. I got it. <laughs> Um, let's see. Does it have a more woody smell or would you describe it as a more woody smell or a more medicinal smell? I would say more medicinal. Okay. Um, definitely very, I like um, how Miranda here is saying camphor is used in Vicks. It does have a very similar Vicksy smell. So if you're used to it, if you're used to using Vicks, you probably have a good understanding of what this product smells like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there any other questions coming through about camphor? I no, we're good? Okay. Um, so it looks like we're rolling right into what's in a name. Is oh, that right? What's in a name? I haven't done what's in a name before, so this is new for me and I'm right. excited. Are you going to sing along with us? Um, well, I don't know the song, oh, or we always I would. Sing. Okay, here we go. Ready? Couldn't do it as well as you do, Danny. That's pretty awesome. Well, the timer has started, so oh, go this, ahead and pick that up. Is this it right here? Yep. Yes. Okay. You're going to hold that up for the wonderful audience. Corimbia citradora. I love the way you say things. <laughs> oh, thank you. Corimbia. Corimbi. Corimbia citradora. No, I'm just kidding. This sounds no, very... Spanish. <laughs> um, and I can't remember. We have a, a couple of viewers who speak Spanish. And they could tell you. So we got 17 seconds, guys. Are you seeing the right answer? Um, I okay. don't think so yet. Yeah, this Maybe one's... they're still coming in. Yeah, yeah they might. a little bit of a lag. You got four oh, seconds, so throw them in there. Oh, I see the I see some right ones. And time is up. And then I just lift this fancy little thing and woohoo. Lemon, <laughs> Lemon eucalyptus. Oh, and they're so the, a pretty picture. I know, this is so cute. It's so fancy. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> so lemon eucalyptus, you guys. That one was hard though because there are a lot of essential oils that use um, citriodora in the botanical name. So definitely a tough one. 
All right, so Jesse is going to pick a winner. Oh, do 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 do. Wait, no, that's football. Jesse, <laughs> winner. You should see it on the email. Okay, I'm in the email. Oh, I see Jesse. Uh, Rosie Burke from Facebook, you are our winner. Awesome. Yay! Oh, this is my favorite part. <laughs> uh, so, Rosie, make sure that you email cs at plantherapy.com and we will get you your prize sent out. So, super excited. It's a 10 mil. Lemon Tamper. eucalyptus or no, lemon eucalyptus. Okay. Oh, lemon eucalyptus sorry. Yay, ten mil lemon eucalyptus. You're the program, Danny. <laughs> I know. Gosh, Danny. <laughs> uh, and lots of people are saying love lemon eucalyptus. Pete says I'm diffusing it right now. Pete, that's awesome. How did you know? <laughs> uh, okay, great. Well, let's see what we're talking. Oh, fact or fiction? Okay. So today we are going to be doing our fact and fact or fiction um, segment, and we're answering the question, can frankincense be used for cancer? And I have to say, I did not write this. Katrina <laughs> wrote this, and she did a lovely job. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Just a she, little shout out. She, she had like, <laughs> I like how it gets bigger there at the end. <laughs> well, that, it got bigger as time like she started putting yes. it up like during the intro so uh, she was trying to get it up there fast and she did a great job you yeah. spelled frankincense right so i mean that's yeah, that's a, that's a hard win part. win <laughs> okay so can fr frankincense be used for cancer so today this is oh wait a minute emily oh. this is fact or fiction this is fact or fiction you don't ask a question you make a statement frankincense can be used for cancer is that a fact or is it fiction? Banana. Oh, see, like I'm in football mode, you guys. <laughs> um, my team is doing really well, so I'm excited. So the uh, answer here today is fiction. So really what we see a lot, and one of the questions that we get a lot in um, CS is can frankincense cure cancer and unfortunately that's just not something that frankincense has been proven to do. So um, here at Plant Therapy we're very focused on making sure that our customers are educated um, and that you're getting the best information out there possible. So generally we don't recommend using essential oils when you have cancer or you're undergoing chemotherapy um, just because there is the possibility of some interactions with medications that you could be taking um, and we just want to make sure that you're absolutely as safe as possible. So if you would like to use essential oils and you're undergoing can or cancer treatment or if you have a friend or a family member um, who would like to use essential oils maybe for calming properties or something along those lines, we just ask and recommend that you work with your medical team and a clinical aromatherapist that can support you on your journey. We want to make sure that you're safe. Uh, plant therapy, we are not, we don't have any medically trained professionals. We're not doctors, so uh, we really just can't recommend that you do that unless you have approval and you're working with um, people that are educated to help you along along the way so um, definitely we want to make sure that that all of our customers and our customers family members are safe when using essential oils so um, but it's a great question and it's one that we get asked very very frequent frequently and something that we wanted to address and share with our customers so is there any questions yeah um... Somebody said, make and, or uh, cure and use are two different things. That's a good, a good, um, I, I'm glad that you pointed that out. And really what we're saying here, um, used, we, again, just don't recommend using essential oils if you have cancer unless you're under the care of somebody who's qualified to assist you. We want to make sure that there aren't any contraindications and that you're being as safe as possible. Um, so can you use frankincense while undergoing cancer treatment? It's one of those things that you just need to make sure that you're working with your medical team to make sure that it's a good fit for you. Yep. Um, and then let's see, I thought I saw a real, I'm sure I saw lots of really good questions up here. Let's see. Um, gosh. Yeah, I so Sherry, Sherry asked, um, one of her questions was, can you use it to relax? And which all the, which comes back to what you were saying. Mm -hmm. You want to yep. make sure you're, and one of these days when we find out, if we find out that cancer can be 
stopped or cured with frankincense, then we'll change our, our stance. But yeah, I think that's will. that's a good point, Danny. Um, as new information comes out, definitely our, our stance can always change. But at the end of the day, I think one of the great things, and there are many great things about plant therapy, in my opinion, but we just care about our customer safety. And we only want to recommend things to our customers that we know are 100% safe. Um, and that's where it comes down to working with the right people to make sure that it's a good decision for you. So. Rebecca has a really good question. Ooh. She says, why is frankincense so good for the skin? And what are the primary uses for the skin? What makes frankincense so awesome for the skin? That's a great question. And really, I, I love, frankincense is phenomenal for the skin. And I really like using frankincense frariana. Um, it just has some really wonderful properties to help with um, skin inflammation, with redness, with um, any kind of wrinkling, things like that. And that's one of the one of my favorite ways to use frankincense. So facial serums are a great choice. Even adding it to um, your moisturizer um, that you use in the morning or at night, definitely a really, really good choice to help with the skin. So um, let's see. So, oh, let's see. Um, oh, that's plate therapy. Huh? Our, our customer <laughs> service team says the constituents affect the skin positively. It's great to dilute in jojoba at 1%. Um, I love that um, we're bringing that up. It just the reminder that if you're using essential oils topically on the face, we recommend a 1% dilution. So that's definitely um, a safe choice. Uh, Sherry is asking, how does Frariana smell? Sherry, I love it. It is so good. And um, you'll notice that it is in the paw balm um, because it's so relaxing and it smells so nice. Um, definitely, if you don't have, have that variety, I would recommend it. It's, it's my favorite for scent. So very yeah. good choice. If, if I had to choose one for smell alone, mm -hmm. I would choose Frariana. Oh, I know. But the most popular frankincense is probably Serrata, right? I would say Carteri, um, oh, really? just because it is um, kid safe. So generally, um, frankincense Serrata is not kid safe, but frankincense Carteri is. And it's kind of that middle of the road product that it smells really good, it helps mm -hmm. with emotional concerns, and it's great for any kind of pain, discomfort, things like that. So um, it's a good product if you're trying to get the most out of your frankincense. So. Hmm, really very interesting. Great toys. <laughs> um, I see Jenna says Carteri is my favorite. I, a lot of people really love Carteri. It does smell very nice. Um, and really, it's one of the most versatile, versatile like I said. It's, it's a really good choice. Scrub Sue <laughs> says, I love Fantastic Franks. I'm oh, diffusing that yes. now. Yes, Fantastic Franks is fantastic. What a great name. <laughs> it's so yummy. Um, Kate says, Serrata for life. <laughs> I know. Somebody feels strongly. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right. Are there any questions about frankincense or how to use it? <laughs> Let's see here. Jody says she wants them all. Go oh. for it. Yep. They are all I good. know where you can get all of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, if there aren't any questions, I think that we can go roll into PT Friends. Which Trisha. Is yes, exciting Trisha part. has one really quick good question. Okay. She says, her frankincense furiana smells like a barn. Does that mean it's old? <laughs> <laughs> um, definitely co contact customer satisfaction and we'll see if we can get you a new bottle sent out. I wouldn't say, in my opinion, it doesn't smell like a barn, but we all smell things differently. Um, yeah. I would love it if barns in Idaho smelled like that because there are a lot of <laughs> dairies around here and it's not pretty. <laughs> yeah, and if your Frariana changed smells, yes. then I would say that it might be that. Definitely. But but it might just be your smell receptors, <laughs> smell things differently. Uh, all righty. Well, we will go ahead and roll into PT Friends. This is my other, I have so many favorite parts of these lives. Mm -hmm. They make me so excited. Um, so we, do, I, do I still get to pick two or just one? Just pick one. Just one. Oh, that's really hard, you guys. Um, let's see. I'm going to go with this one here. Oh. So pretty. Okay. 
This says, hello from Rock Hill, South Carolina. We love you guys. This is from Rachel Bingham. Um, Rachel, be sure to email cs at plantherapy.com so that you can get your giveaway item, which I don't know what is. Do we? What's by your leg? What's by your leg? <gasps> This is, oh. this is so cute. Oh my gosh. So these are our uh, Plant Therapy Cozy Socks. And then there's an Aroma Pod in here and a bottle of Ylang Ylang Salt. This is awesome and perfect for this season, right? Like it's starting to get cold outside. You need to be cozy. I'm, I pulled out my fuzzy socks um, and I'm loving it. So definitely fun giveaway to have there. Woohoo! Yay. Oh, congratulations. Oh. That scared me a little. <laughs> Whew, okay, <laughs> throwing bottles in. <laughs> oh, all right. Welcome to the show. Yes. Andy. <laughs> I need to do it more often so I don't forget how this how this goes. <laughs> when I get really mad, I throw uh, Katrina. Oh, that's, awful. <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> okay, let's see. So um, our viewer question, if I can go to it, my mouse is not working great, or maybe it's the operator, you never know. Um, what are two uses of frankincense essential oil? Um, make sure that you follow the link that is in this post to submit your answers, and you will have the chance to win all three frankincense. That's a big deal, all three, you guys. That's really exciting. What are you going to do with all that frankincense? That's what I wanna know. Um, since we're giving away three, I would say, can we do three since we're giving away three? I like that. Yeah. Three, three, three. Sounds great. <laughs> uh, alrighty, guys. Well, thank you so much for letting me uh, fill in while Retha is out. I always love doing this and getting to talk to our amazing customers. Um, just to recap, don't forget that we have our fall blends, which are phenomenal. Um, again, I might be a little biased, but I love them so much. Do you have uh, a favorite? Um, oh. It's so hard, but I really like maple leaf. It is, it's sweet and just warm and it makes me happy. So, <laughs> um, and then don't forget that this week, our oil week is camphor and you can get 15% off of that awesome product. Perfect timing as we go into cold and flu season. Um, and then I don't know this DIY. <laughs> But it looks like we have a DIY achy joint camphor roll-on maybe on our blog that you can check out. So make sure to, to check that out. If you have any questions, be sure to contact our customer service team and have a happy Wednesday. Thank you guys for tuning in.